Hello my friends and welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I am your hunting guide, Jeff. And today, I'm down at the river. It's going to take me long to get down to the river because, uh, well, let me turn sideways here so you can get an idea. This is the river area where I usually hunt trilobites. Big tow boat coming behind me. But the river is incredibly high right now. We, uh, usually I'm finding trilobites right around that area, but, uh, well, it's about three foot underwater. So I guess I'm gonna have to go to the other side of the road. But I am gonna look up here along this top side. And if I find anything cool, I'm definitely gonna show you. Well, my first trial of bite of the day is right here. Pretty beat up, but uh, I'm gonna break this rock apart. Cause usually where there's one, there's more. So I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna try to chip this guy out and we'll see what the heck's in here. Well, guys, I know it's not a trilobite, but uh, I just found a sleeping bear. Somebody made a wood carving, and I guess maybe the last time the water was up, it, uh, it washed away. Really wish I could get that home. I kind of like it, but that's pretty dang big. All right, you guys, I got one right there. I decided to hit on this rock. Pretty good-sized rock. I wanted to see what there was inside of it, if anything. The... Uh, coloration was right now this stuff here this is the weathered away so if you find a trilobite in here it's going to be all ate up that one was down over here and that's actually some pretty decent rock to be working with that's uh one of the calamity celebris i'm going to work on this rock a little more it's a big big rock like i'm not going to have this all the way torn down but uh i want to see if I can find some more trilobites in it, perhaps, maybe. All right, let's talk about layers for a minute. So you can see this rock is in different layers. They're kind of hard to see until you start working on it. But this top layer, this stuff's too new. I'm not finding any trilobites in it. Breaking it open, finding some nice calcite, but trilobite free. This area is pretty ate up. I mean, look at that. That's just that's just dust from my fingers. That's not for me hitting it. This area down here, though, along the bottom, in fact, you can see the line right here. This solidifies. So there would be trilobites in this area, which means this rock probably came off of the top of the bluff and made its way down here. Uh, if I could get to this area, I could probably find some stuff. But I don't feel like doing that hard of work today to get some trilobites when I know if I just keep going this way, I'm bound to find some trilobites that are easier to get to. Now, for those of you wondering where I'm at still, this is still till plains. Uh, however, this is an outcropping of till plains. This is uh, where the glacier came down, but it didn't quite get it as bad. This is along the bluffs. So I'm going to pop that up right down here in the bottom so you can see it right here. Now, of course, I marked out the GPS. You gotta find it on your own. But uh, for those of you wondering what I use for the app for that, I use Rock D, uh, R-O-C-K, and then lowercase d. It's a free app. It tells you what you're dealing with, uh, gives you an idea of the paleontological finds around the area. Uh, I actually got it from uh, my buddy Wild Kyle. He told me about it, and I tell you what, I really, really like it. I'm going to start throwing that in my videos to give you guys a little more information with it. But it's something I highly recommend if you got an Apple iPhone or an Android and you like to rock hunt. Go ahead and download that because it will help you out. It gives you an idea of what you're dealing with. All right, so I came across this broken rock. This is probably from the last time Dustin and I were up here. And uh, this would have been Dustin's work area because I don't think I made it up this far. But uh, Dustin, buddy, you left a trilobite. I'll dig that out for you. That one's yours, pal. Well, it bamboozled me. It's not a trilobite. It's just a nice little shell. Well, Dustin, I got your shell out. So if you want it, I got it for you. <laughs> All right, I got my first good one of the day. So I decided to give this rock a hit, see what was inside. Wasn't finding much. Gave it one more hit. Whenever I did, that popped up. That's a nice one. 
that's really nice I'm gonna check the rest of this rock and see if there's any more in it and uh, I'll show you how I do that so essentially sorry pardon the pardon the strap for my phone and my fingers there so essentially I just take my hammer and give it a crack whenever you give it a crack check it check both sides I found this one because of that that imprint there so it's because you don't see one itself look for the imprints this one yeah probably not I'll work on that a little bit and then of course I still have this big chunk here and a big chunk always means there's a possibility a better possibility not always of more trilobites on it and I'm not seeing nothing there not seeing nothing there so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and hit it again just crack this up as much as we can looking for imprints looking for trilobite nope not that I'm seeing so I do have this one I'm gonna pop it out of the rock while I'm out here cuz that's pretty easy rock to pop and uh, I'll show you on camera once it's out and there we have it one very very nice specimen oh that one's a beauty look at the ridges you can see the eyes in it I love hunting trilobites I've had a lot of people ask me what I do with all my trilobites well it depends if it's not a very nice one I'll usually give it away to a kid or an adult who has no idea what a trilobite is uh, I like to get people involved in this stuff if it's a really nice one I'll probably sell it if it's a super duper nice one it goes in my personal collection now that being said whenever I find uh, one that's nicer than one of my super duper nice ones then it gets replaced with one of my super nice ones and that goes into either being sold or a giveaway or something like that also the really nice ones go in the front pouch that way I can put all the others in the back pouch this keeps them safe and it's got a zipper okay so I made my way back down to the creek and I noticed this I am not a hundred percent sure what that is uh, I'm definitely gonna have to ask some of my buddies who know fossils better than I do like they really know their fossils I'm a layman but whatever this is I don't think I'll be able to get it out I may work over here and see how hard this rock is but uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna mess with this just a little bit and I say just a little bit because I don't want to ruin it okay I do know what this is this is a cephalopod you guys I am 99% sure this is cephalopod and I should be able to get it out this is an awesome find this made the day holy cow looking at the inside there I'm seeing the normal cephalopod build I'm almost sure this is cephalopod I could be way off I could be way off so don't take this what I'm saying to heart with this I know my trilobites I don't know my cephalopods so well I'm gonna send a couple pictures out and uh, hopefully I get a reply from them all right you guys that is a cephalopod so I'm gonna work my way around it yeah you can see it the gaps in it I see it now oh this is awesome this is a nice one okay so I'm gonna break off back here or try to anyhow um, once I get home I'm gonna have to do some repair work on it which is no big deal like I always say even the Smithsonian's held together with super glue but this is a nice cephalopod oh this makes me so happy I am glad I came back down this way I was worried about this video today it was kind of boring all I had was a couple beat up trilobites a nice trilobite and now I'm finding this a little shell heck yeah I'm gonna get this popped out you guys I should have brought my tripod I'm so sorry you won't get to watch me make, take this out but uh that's all right it'll probably be boring anyhow I'll show you once it's done all right you guys it is out so it's gonna go in the bag it's gonna get wrapped up in my hoodie uh, then once I get home I'll glue it all back together I've got something else going down there I think that's just a chert nodule 
this is a big rock i'm gonna see if i can flip it over and see what that is but uh yeah this ooh, that's a great find it's gonna be awesome once it's put back together okay well i popped that piece out and that was nothing more than a wonky break but man this is this is turning out to be a really good day i'm gonna walk up the creek a little more and uh then i'm gonna turn around and i'm gonna head for the house you guys well i'm slowly making my way back and uh i just picked this up off camera but uh check this out guys just pick this up off the ground look at the size of those crinoids in there that's super nice probably not going to take it though probably thinking why jeff why won't you take it well i got a lot of crinoid because the crinoid i like is stuff that's already broke free i like the free floating crinoid you find and it's not always easy to find but it's a lot lighter makes a really pretty necklace and uh i don't have to deal with a great big rock if y'all see anything on the ground just yell real loud probably won't do you any good by the time you see this i'm probably going to be in probably either wyoming or nevada going for fish fossils going for opals those videos will be coming up in july hopefully through august maybe the start of september i've got about 10 15 places i want to hit and i've got about 16 15 days to do it in so i hope you stay tuned for that trip which will be some new stuff i'm excited to go okay this piece man i'm not gonna take it nope i already said i wasn't taking the crinoid i'm just gonna leave it there unless i find broken free pieces but otherwise it stays it'll probably be there next time i come back i know where it's at all right i'm gonna kill the camera unless i find something cool otherwise i'll see you guys I'm back at the truck all right let's start off this fixing operation first thing i did was i bought a three pack of super glue from harbor freight it's like a dollar usually i have super glue but for some reason i guess i used it all up but repairing this stuff super easy just uh you know pop your super glue i'm sure i don't need to teach you all how to do that what's nice is this dolomite that these are in super porous so it will soak up the glue pretty quick and i'm just gonna do glue on it like so you know it looks like a lot which is okay it's very runny glue good gracious glue there now i pre-determined where these pieces went you always want to do that so you don't have it all backwards then i'm just gonna set the trilobite in there and hold or the not trilobite the cephalopod in there and i'm going to hold it and we're going to let it set up um another way to make it go quicker is to breathe on it super glue reacts with moisture in the air make sure you don't glue your finger to it and there you go it's starting to come back together now i haven't knocked the entire thing out yet but uh and I've moved stuff around, so I gotta find it again. No. And no. This piece here connects on to this side like so. Now I'm probably not going to rebuild the entire thing because it would make it like super fragile. Uh, I will set the other pieces up, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of just how long this thing actually was whenever I found it. This is over a foot long. It's probably one of the best cephalopods I found. Uh, I tell you what, let me zoom in on it and I'll show you some of the stuff that really excites me about this. So usually whenever I find a cephalopod, this is gone. And all you have is the, well, here. All you have is the little segments. This piece amazingly had the cover on it still so this is a really nice cephalopod 
Uh, super happy to have found this. This is the third cephalopod I have found up there. And I used to look all the time and never found them. In fact, you can see some of the segments right in there. But they have been covered with this outer shell. You can see the strata from the original creature. I almost wonder if that original casing wasn't some sort of a uh, skin that covered it and it wasn't all bone. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I'm super happy with this piece. This piece made the entire day for me. Well guys, that's the video for the day. Actually, you'll see the same ending on two different videos because I'm being lazy. Hamilton hopes you enjoyed it. He knows we got some more work to do. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we can get a like, share, and subscribe. And uh, as always, I'll see you the next time we're out hunting rocks. Have a good one. Bye.